Hello, 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 everyone. So today I thought we'd paint these really easy tulips. Sorry for the shaking of the camera. I'm going to show these to you and hopefully you can paint them. And actually I have the tulip colors kind of in my nails today. How about that? So today, as usual, I'm using a number eight Princeton brush round and I'm not positive, but they call them Velvet Touch, I'm sure for other reasons, but they feel really nice in your hand. They almost have a velvety touch. And the paper I am using today is just this inexpensive Artista watercolor pad, but I always use 140 pound and cold press because I do like the, um, the texture and I don't think I have ever painted on anything less than 300 GSM or 140 pound. So today, these are the colors I'm going to be using. Um, I've got a magenta, which I've watered down, an orange, a violet, and yellow. Let me see, I think this is called Cad Yellow. These are all Winsor Newton, by the way and I'm using them a little watered down so they have some translucence to them. So, are you ready? Go ahead and grab your brush. These are going to be those C strokes that we've learned. I'm actually going to open my page so I can see these beautiful colors that I chose. Um, okay, so this color here is Permanent Rose. And it can tend to be a little bit darker, so I water it down. Let me show you here. So I water it down because here's the full strength, which is beautiful. But And I will probably use that in some of the, um, you know, darker areas of it. But I just watered that down a bit, and I really love this color. So remember in watercolors, we don't use white, we use water to lighten a color. Now the orange is that Cad Orange, Winsor Newton again. And I'm gonna show you the full strength version and then I'm gonna show you how I water it down a little bit. So here's the full strength version. And this is such a great practice for you guys to get used to lightening a color versus uh, using white. So now I added some more water to my brush and here's the lighter version of that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's very translucent and then we can always go back in and add these darker values of this hue. Notice how I'm throwing in those fun facts. Um, so hue is the color, value is the intensity or darkness and lightness. So I'll use the darker hue uh, for the tips of the leaves and so forth. So washing off my brush, let's grab violet. Purple violet, I think it's actually called in Winsor Newton. And here is the full strength. Violet can be a little intense. I'm just going to rinse my brush off a bit. And here is the lighter version of that. Beautiful, right? So I'm going to use that lighter version. Now let's do the yellow. Um, I think I'll use the Cad Yellow, which is right here. It's a little getting a little dirty. I need to put some new in there. It's got a little green in it too, but okay. Okay, so let's practice that Cad Yellow. So here's full strength, very deep and dark and rich. Now let's add some water to it. Let me show you how I add that water to it. I get this question a lot. So we're just going to rinse the brush and then tap it off. Now we'll have a lighter version of that yellow. Look at that, perfect. So these are the one, two, three, four colors and the lighter versions of those. So play with those, practice those, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here. Let me... Put a napkin down so when I flip this over it doesn't mucky up my workspace and let's get started on those tulips so tulips are just basically and this is a very easy version of these tulips 
it's really just two C strokes. So go ahead and grab, let's start with the yellow. I'm going to get a little bit of that on here. Being careful not too intense. And we're going to start at the top, spread out my bristles by applying some more pressure and bringing it down. Okay, so there's that tulip shape. And then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water, grab a little bit more, and let's do the other side. A little bit smaller though, and keeping, preserving that beautiful white space in between. And then at the top, we're just gonna do a little squiggle, just to show there are some leaves in the background there. Now let's move on to that orange color. Let me get a light version of that. Grab my palette to do a little mixing on. There we go. My palettes, by the way, with the custom daisies on them are from Mist Ceramic. She's amazing. She's created a lot of palettes for me. Okay, so we're gonna do the thicker side again. So go ahead and push pressure into that first petal like so. If yours isn't looking exactly like this, it could be the paper quality. Now, I'm not using a real high quality paper. This is really just for demonstration and practice. I'm going to rinse my brush off a little and do the other thinner petal on the other side. Again, making sure to preserve that white space. That always creates interest. And then just a little squiggle at the top. Ooh, and look at that. It kind of, I'm just gonna pull that over here to the side a little bit. Okay, let's go on to, let's do the purple. I'm going to use my palette again, do a little mixing. Till I get the right intensity. That's the perfect intensity, like tea, it moves very freely. And let's do another one right here at a different angle. So the first petal, you're applying pressure. Oopsie, that means I do not have enough water. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Make that petal come out, just like that. Add the other side, a C stroke, leaving the white in the middle and our little squiggle at the top, okay? There you go. Perfect. Okay, let's do, I think, what was our other color? Yep, no, we did yellow. Oh, magenta, or permanent rose, excuse me. Okay, so let me grab some of that permanent rose and mix it again on my palette. Just to get an idea of how much I've got going on here. There we go. And we're going to do another one right here. So the first leaf pushing like so, and the smaller saving the white in between. There you go. I'm gonna kind of pull that paint up to the top and just barely a squiggle at the top. Okay, while it's still wet, I'd like to go in and just add in the leaf because I wanna get that spread, the flow that mixes with these petals. And tulip uh, stems are a little bit thicker, so I'm going to barely touch. That one might've been a little too thick for my liking. And coming down, I'm using the side of my brush. Okay, who else is excited for spring and these tulips to start buying them? There you go. Now I really don't like to work in fours. I'd rather work with odd numbers, but uh, that's kind of where I'm at. I might add in one more here. Okay, so tulip leaves are very long. So we're gonna start with the point. Brush is pointed in the direction I wanna go. Pressure into the barrel. And 
tulip leaves are very like dancing, flowy. So we're ending up like that. Okay. Just gonna pull some of that paint up and do another one here. Point, push, pull. Aren't those gorgeous? Point, press, pull. Let's do another one. Point, press, pull. Look at how beautiful. And varying these hues, and now I didn't vary the hue, I'm using the same sap green, but the intensity or value. So a little bit more paint, a little less paint, that's gonna create a lot of interest. Let's see if we can make this a little bit more interesting. Because I feel like this number four of the flowers is kind of bugging me. I don't like to work in odd or even numbers. I like to have odd numbers for some reason. Let's just play here. Let's see if we can get a leaf coming up here. Got to be careful here. There, that's kind of interesting. Um, I think I want to add maybe one more tulip over here, just because I feel like they're all pointing in the same direction. So let's do, let's see, what other color are tulips? Let's just play with another yellow one. That'll bring a little balance. We've kind of got this color over here. Let's add that in on this side. So I'm gonna grab some more of that yellow and maybe we'll mix it with a little bit of orange. That'll give it a little variation, kind of tie in the two. So there we go. You know, a fun palette you can use too is just a china plate. Those are always kind of fun. So let's just play with this. I'm not sure how this is gonna look, but let's do a tulip. Mm, got one pointing that way up, out. Let's do one kind of tipping over. So press into that first tulip side. And then another one over here. Okay. Just gonna drag down some of that color. And let's get a leaf, I'm sorry, a stem coming out of that side. That's, that uh, stem got a little wonky. I'm going to show you, I'm going to use a very saturated color for one of the leaves because I always like to show you this, how it makes a difference the darker the color. So let's just do a leaf coming out of here point, press, like that. Isn't that beautiful? Let's do another one here, point, press. So that gives it this look of those two are really popping out. Okay, so we're getting a little leafy here, actually, but you get the gist of it. I hope you try this. Um, work with those colors again, just taking like the yellow and full strength, so a lot of color like that. And then adding water to your brush and creating a lighter version of that. And then doing so with the orange. Here's the dark, intense orange. And then I'm gonna add a little water and get that lighter version. And this is in lieu of using white. Now I do have white here, but I very rarely use it. Uh, one good way to use it, let me show you, let's do it with the purple, because what this can be fun sometimes is to get like a pastel type look. So let me, let's play with the purple, and we're gonna do a very intense purple here. This is the violet purple, Windsor Newton. So here is that purple, very, very intense and beautiful. Now let's do this. I'm gonna rinse my brush off. I'm going to grab some of this white and watch what it does versus with water. Now I've got a lot of, get rid of some of that. So see how it's more of a pastel versus if I was to take purple 
and just add water to it. This is purple with just water. So this is lighter, but this has more of a pastel-y type look to it. See the difference there? So I really advise using water to lighten a pigment versus using white because it's definitely a different color, not one's worse or, or better, but it's just different. The white paint tends to make it more of a pastel color. The When you use water, it just tends to lighten the hue. So have fun with that. I want to see what you guys are doing. Grab your brush, your paper, and paint, and let's paint. If I can do this stuff, I know for a fact you guys can because we're all artists. Okay, we will talk to you soon. Email me with any questions or message me. And thanks for joining me.